Hi y'all, this is Tanya Meadows with Apple Tree Home School Academy and Apple Tree Home Daycare. And you know how when you think you got things figured out and then you change your mind the very next day? Well, welcome to my world. So, uh, Saturday I rearranged this room because we have bought a used wood stove. And we're going to have it professionally installed on November 20th. And this is only going to be for emergency heating or on the weekends um, when we're home without the children. So this will never be used when the children are here unless there's an emergency. And I can always remove them out of this room and take them to um, the other room until, like, pickup time. So, anyway, what I did is I had rearranged this room and this... This bed goes against the wall, and I was going to pull it out each day to about this spot anyway. And the kids kept coming in here. I had a small canvas bag of arch blocks here, and the kids kept climbing here. All of the, the bed was pushed against here. And so I just decided, well, instead of pulling this out every day, they kept squeezing behind it and getting on these these were against the wall and piled up and they kept getting here. So, well, well, I'll just make a space for them to play on these climbing cushions. They can climb through here. They love to do that. And then it also opens up this side of the easel. So um, both sides of my easel can be used this way with it. Um, being open on both sides whereas before the pack and play was against here and you couldn't get to this so I opened that whole section up and now it's usable and I won't have to bother with moving this pack and play in and out I had to be careful because I do have a plug-in up here and I do have a cover on the one that I'm not using this goes to our Roku up here on our television and then the blocks I put over here. Now I had these uh, little cars over on the other side of the wood stove. And I put them here out of the way. I like this little uh, triangular bookshelf. It pulled away from the wall a little bit. So um, I had that extra space right behind it. And it was perfect enough to fit the little cars back there when we're not using them. Okay, so this pack and play I'm not using right now um, the baby is too small for it for right now she uh, takes her nap in her little swing this little swing lays back a little bit further and she sleeps here this is the only time she's in her swing is during her nap time so the pack and plays are uh, far enough apart from the wood stove that the if I happen to use these um, pack and plays that the child's not going to have their head bump into the uh, wood stove. And like I said, this is never going to be used. This is only for emergency heating if we ever lose electricity because we're all electric. The gate is so that the children do not climb on the wood stove. This one is not being utilized. And I had it to where um, the gate came across here and it was just encased right here but I have a 15 month old that likes to come over here and get into my trash can put toys in the trash can I used to have that this triangular uh, bookshelf in front of this bookshelf uh, because that prevented the children from pulling the things off of the bottom shelves here and now that that's open I was also having a problem with the children coming over here and pulling things off the shelf. And that's my teacher resources. So what they do is, um, what I did is I pulled this out from beside the wood stove and ran it all the way across. And I'll get something to uh, to attach it here. Um, I'm thinking one of those things you put the keys on. And anyway, this takes up a lot of space. I used to have my blocks here, and this was before we got our wood stove. This was our block area, and it looked really nice. I moved that into the living room, and um, I had to make do. So 
we have a limited amount of space and this is what we're having to do i would rather have an emergency heating and since we're all electric and um be able to pull the children in another room and still have heat than to than to not and if we'd ever lose electricity wouldn't we wouldn't have a way of heating everything and this is also um i can also cook on top of that heat up soup or fry something up so anyway i hope you like this idea it's not ideal i avoided having to put a wood stove in here this is the only place to attach one in the home so i avoided this because of the safety hazard and because of the space it would take up in this room but i would rather have uh we've been here six years or more i'd rather have an emergency heating source than not especially in today's world so we're just going to make do and it's safe it's not hot it won't be hot um and this is going to be far enough away from the wood stove so where nobody can bump into it this gate is so that the children will not climb on it and won't fall into it so um, i hope you like this idea yeah we're always changing our minds right sometimes we got to do what we got to do i like this better than what i had it saturday so like share subscribe comment thanks for watching bye